TFAT K Live has been cancelled. TFAT K Live has been cancelled. I repeat, TFAT K Live has been cancelled. TFAT K Live residency or Red and C has been cancelled. TFAT K Live, the fighter and the kid live has been cancelled. The fighter and the kid live at the step mothership, aka the fathership, aka the club across the road from the mothership. The only place that Brendan and Brian can perform at when they go to fucking Austin, Texas, because Brendan won't, Brian Rogan won't let them perform at the fucking mothership, has been cancelled. TFAT K Live has been cancelled. Cancelled with a capital C. With a capital fucking C. It's gone. It's never coming back. It's over. It's fucking over. You hear that? It's over. It is over. It's done. Are you surprised? Are you guys surprised? I'm not. Guess what? I'm not surprised. Because one day ago, big up this user on the Fire and the Kids subreddit, wonderful dash salary 5432 posted this one day ago. <laughs> Looks like 30 tickets sold so far a week away. 30 tickets sold. Ouch. And now it's been cancelled. Crazy. And guess what happens? Guess what happens when they cancel a show? Do they present a united front? Does Brian step out in front and take all the bullets like a good cocky boy? Or they try and ignore it? I'll let you judge yourself via the following clip is there's always that fear that we don't have anything to talk about but let's be honest there's always something to talk about we're a huh? couple chatty cathy's couple chatty cathy's right now any news on the baby now i thought it was, before you say give me the date um you have an obligation to vancouver this weekend i do have an obligation so to hopefully vancouver. the baby doesn't come from look at this look at this shitty i've you know no offense uche no offense uche but i've seen better acting in nollywood movies i've seen better acting in fucking nollywood movies than this type of shit look at this rehearsed scripted note writing shit look at this shit oh um before well um <clears throat> funny you mentioned babies brian aren't you having a child doesn't your child's name begin with a c as in charles log on overnight shift with us five over you know, Abe Martinez, you know, we're smoking on that TFAT K pack. You know, Abe Martinez, right? You know, Abe Martinez, we're smoking on that TFAT K life pack, bro. We're smoking on that TFAT K life pack tonight. Huh? Blow one out, blow one out. Big up, Abe Martinez, appreciate it, bro. Hi there, Saturday. It's a situation where my wife's not moving a lot because if she moves a lot. You could then, come. Yeah. Oh, look at them trying to explain pregnancies. Look at these middle age, especially this guy. Look at this G G G Look at this geriatric guy trying to explain fucking how pregnancies work. Look at these two men trying to mansplain pregnancies to us as an excuse to why they had to cancel a comedy show. Do you see how pathetic these fucking guys are? It's not a big deal. Sh some shows don't sell tickets, whatever. You move on. Look at these guys. Look at the lengths they're going to to protect their fragile egos. Yes. So, so she's like, if you could, we can just hold on till Monday. But we have people at the house, staying at the house in case there's a situation. 
like oh so you hired a whole hospital you've got a whole fucking maternity ward in your house because you got mommy and daddy's money that makes sense you have fucking living ma- no, what do you call it? um you had fucking bed bed maids or whatever they're called or you have i forgot what the woman is that fucking gives birth to fucking kids whatever not the mum, but you know the person that helps um you have all these people there why because you got the money to afford it right huh? nice lovely must be nice that must be nice to be able to pay for an entire hospital to live in your house while you're an average stand-up comedian well, with an even average your fucking podcast career no one else can do that by the way but i wonder why you can do that is it daddy it's father involved family or just random family, people family. okay i don't know you know family my ass so it's like yeah probably some doctors from cedar cyanide i just randoms um, like yeah, i get this guy chernobyl i yeah. think he's down to hang out with my wife what's what's but, 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 hold on about... where i was going with yeah. that before you tell that story is you got to go to vancouver and then i remind you look at this rehearsal Look at how they're lying to the fans. t k fans, if you're one of the 33 people that bought the tickets, you deserve better than this. I'm actually annoyed for you. Whoever you are out there, if you actually bought tickets to go watch these guys and they are treating you like this, making a mockery of the whole thing, doing this whole scripted thing in the beginning of the show to try to explain why they haven't canceled, why they canceled the show, I'm annoyed for you. This is a complete lack of respect. Yesterday, I'm like, well, remember, Bubba, we got to be in Austin on Friday. Went, That's right. <laughs> That's not happening. And I- so he doesn't. He, so Brian doesn't realize what dates he's meant to be places. He has to have Brendan remind him like an actual child. This man who's like nearly 60, who's got two families, doesn't know where he is. He's not Mark Wahlberg. He's not Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He's not fucking Samuel Jackson. Right. He's not Jacob LLD. He's some average stand-up comedian with an average podcast he does c- club gigs in fucking comedy clubs and he's acting as if he's the you know he's he's acting as if he's fucking one of the most busiest entrepreneurs out there in terms of running a mi- million businesses and flying a different bunch of planes all over the country to do meetings like bro you tell dick jokes in like random casinos and shit and comedy clubs and i don't so so this is a good, I, I just assume you know no this is a very good, i just assumed you were you were just down yeah. for the car so this is this is a very good <laughs> this is a very good segue because you know i uh i make a lot of plans <clears throat> and what what you have to understand is that i keep my f- personal life and my entertainment life very separate on social media and stuff like that I don't- we don't fucking care though isn't it and the only reason why you do it is because you're afraid people are going to write rapists underneath your fucking pictures of you with your kid which is obviously a bit grim but let's not act like you're doing it for some sort of like moral principled stance you know what i mean you're just afraid of your wife and kids seeing obviously the stuff that you might have said in the past that you're ashamed of seeing now be repeated in your comments you're not doing it because you're a beast of a dad you're doing it because you're afraid of looking bad online which is understandable but let's relax i don't like showing my family and stuff like that i'm a comedian you do some though sometimes but um <laughs> i don't like showing my family but i do I do it sometimes so what do you do then it's not that i'm i, I like to protect their privacy right oh, and so up, um you idiot. my 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 dear friend Tark, as you- oh look at this have you noticed something brian's doing all the talking and for once Brendan's not interrupting isn't it funny whenever they do something fucked up and whenever someone has to take some blame Brian's always ready and able to give his body to fucking Brendan to use as he pleases as a literal human fucking shield as to why they're cancelling a TFAT K live show one week out because they suddenly remembered Brian suddenly woke up in the morning and remembered oh shit my wife's pregnant (laughs) he was finally told this today before the show my wife is pregnant (laughs) you are a dear friend Tarek who is one of my I talk to him all the time yeah and yesterday, my wife is in the kitchen, and she couldn't be more pregnant. Like, she couldn't be. The baby is literally hanging. Could you never, even with you and I, I mean, we we're like brothers. Yeah. Dude, she came to the dinner, and I was like, you're so pregnant. She's like, Brandon, tell him, like, I found out, like, three days ago well, you were having a this kid. This is, so Tarek, I, you're put, the worst. I put the video on her, and he goes, wait, what's going on? You didn't know he had a kid because you guys don't talk outside the podcast. Not because you know let's not have a reason they clearly don't have a relationship as much as they used to outside of the pod clearly going on i go what he goes wait what what's you're pregnant (laughs) and i and i realized i hadn't told him you don't share anything and then frank grillo hits he doesn't share because he doesn't care that's the thing that people are not realizing here 
Brian isn't share, Brian isn't not sharing the status of his wife's pregnancy because he's like trying to keep it private. He's not sharing it because he's just not at the front of his mind. He's literally he acts he acts as if he's a guy who doesn't have two families. You know? You wouldn't even know if he had one. He's very like, you know, he lives in the moment, kind of Peter Pan, rest of development type of, you know, type of vibes. See, yeah, I don't think I don't think it's I have to private. hear from my ex that you that your wife is pregnant. I get that like that's what's going on. See, but the, it, I just doesn't it's not that you're private. It. You just don't I don't even think about it. I don't it. talk about it. No, you're not private. You're just stuck in your own world. And if anything, it's probably a good signaling thing too. Maybe they don't like mentioning it because they want to always keep the Addies option open. They want the Addies door never to be closed. You know what I mean, so if you pretend like if you don't really mention your girl. Brian Callen, three families, two small arms, one hour allegation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> One R allegation. Oh God, man, that's hilarious. Big up for you, though. Like, like I, don't, anybody. I just. Meanwhile, the overweight hater Heavy D, aka David Lucas, gets allowed on board the mothership to fart out a special. Rogan had a mur a literal murder on his podcast, NJ Ranger. Then he has fucking David Lucas as one of the regulars on there. Chappelle Lacey performs there a bunch of times. Even Eric Griffin, motherfucker, even Eric fucking Griffin got a weekend at the mothership. Eric Griffin, to be fair though, to be fair, a lot of you have said in the stream chat that Eric Griffin's a quite a good stand-up. I know I hate him, you know, and if I seen, if I saw him in real life and we were both at the top of the stairs, I'd definitely nudge him, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but I think a lot of you guys have said Eric Griffin's actually annoyingly, he's actually really good at stand-up. I think a lot of you have said that, like, you've seen him actually perform live and he's actually quite good. So that's the annoying thing about him. He acts like a fucking dickhead on the stream. And I hate how he sucks up to Brendan, especially considering how he used to hate him before. But allegedly he's a good comedian. So, you know, let's call a spade a spade. Like if I say my wife's pregnant, it's all good. But then we're moving on. You're not going to be asking me questions about it. It's not that interesting to you. It's pretty. No, it is. It's pretty important. Well, it's very important. But when I have the baby, we'll talk. But I don't know what else to say other than she's pregnant. But you can't let people know in your life. I agree. For God's I have to sakes. let people know. I just like it. Like when I when I was like, dude, you look at them lying. Look at this lie. Look at them including the babies and the kid. This is a good way to to pick up Keith. T appreciate you. My friend dumped his finance and married a totally different person. When I asked about it, he said, "I thought I told you." <laughs> okay, yeah, but that's the thing. You asked about it. I think that's the thing. Keith T is different. Brian doesn't even pay attention to it because he's probably too busy testing his baddies. And Brendan doesn't care enough because he's more wrapped up in his own world and his own life because he's a narcissist, right? He doesn't really care about what you're doing. So he's never going to ask somebody, hey, how's your kid? How's your family? Because he generally doesn't care. So, you know, that's why I think it different. It differs a little bit. But your wife? Up, big up Keith Tito. If he's ready to pop, we should, if you're not going to move Vancouver, we got to... Well, you said to me, you I go, think we she might out. have a baby. And I go, I can't go to Austin. I can't go to Austin he, and do a live... It was like a live... Look at this lie. Look at them lying and looking at the fucking... The team at the back. And if he goes, oh, shit, that's right. You, you could have the baby. I go, it's embarrassing. I go, here's the thing. Yeah, it's just the way you're wired. It's not You're not a bad guy. I, you're just sociopath. But the I, thing is... No, I just don't... Not, I just... I, you, don't, you, you just don't think that way. Right. But I, I told I, Brian, I said, think, you know, I've, I, I have three kids. Even if she has the baby on Tuesday, I can't. You don't want to leave on Friday, like that's. Well, that's, that's the no, that's. You know what's funny about this? Do you remember when um, Brendan's wife had a miscarriage? All right, you know, condolences and R.I.P. and prayers, whatever. Brendan's wife had a miscarriage, and Brendan went on tour. The set, the you know, the follow the the night before, she went. She had a miscarriage. Has a couple tour the next day. He was on tour with the boys, sitting in the in a jacuzzi with Chappelle. Maybe I mean, maybe Chappelle, maybe his big brother, Jay, while his while his wife was getting the whole miscarriage thing dealt with. Yeah, yeah I have to be there to, to, to drive her to the airport. Be I mean to the fucking hospital. I got to be there in the hospital. All that stuff, and it, it just doesn't seem real. Like I, like I'm looking I, at her, going, "Oh, you're so pregnant. You're gonna have this baby. Like she's I, supposed to have it October. I, I mean, know. she's supposed to have it a um, April fourteenth. Can't control." October, April, <laughs> April fourteenth. That's why you don't. Yeah, so so I wasn't planning on her having it. Don't work that way. But you, I mean, you've had this year. I wasn't planning on my 
honestly, man, how these women and that, that money's probably good enough to fucking make you pop with anything, but just not being a priority in these guys' lives must be wild if you're the partner, innit? You get to live a very comfortable, free life. Most of the time, these guys aren't at home anyway, so you get to spend time by, by yourself in these big houses, but it's crazy to think that you're never the priority, even when it comes to this guy, Brian. He's like 60 years old. He's well past his sell-by date, yet he's still out here, like, putting other things above, you know, in terms of list of priorities when it comes to his wife or mother of his children. It's fucking crazy. Fourth fucking child, right. dude. You know it doesn't. It doesn't. They give you a first date. one it never came works a month out. early. It never works that way. Right. But that, that's why I told Brian. It's like, even if it comes on Monday, Tuesday, you got to be there on Friday for sure. I love Austin. I love doing the show. But the no, birth is I call, four I call times Brandon. in your life. I call Brandon. You know why, by the way? They're only doing this because they only sold 30 tickets. If they would have sold out the Vulcan, the, the fathership, the mothership, the stepmothership, if they would have sold it out, they wouldn't have been canceling. They would have went through with it. The fact, that they, the fact that they only sold 30 tickets means that they don't want to go, like, anyway. And I was talk, like, Brandon. I go, hey, dude, I'm, I'm, an, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Like, my big up Pan Jam. If you watch the pool boy search from Mad TV, you will understand Brian completely. Oh, really? He okay. He's that guy. Okay. I'm going to save that for another time and, and research, do my research. But thank you, Panjam. I'll definitely keep an eye on that. Or I'll, I'll, I'll find the scene and I'll watch it for myself and see what I'll go on. But yeah, Brian's the worst. Brian's the one. I'm not going to lie. If I could choose again, I think I'd start hating Brian more. He's, he's, Yeah. He has a lot of hateable qualities. My wife is popping. Now, I thought she'd have it. My wife is popping. Slap. A month from now, but she could have it at any but minute. This is why you should communicate. Even if you would have told, like, you told me like a week ago, and I didn't realize how pregnant she was until you came to the surprise birthday party. Yeah. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, oh, that's interesting. We're still doing Austin. But I didn't bring it up at the party. Yeah. But even if I would have known, I'd be like, oh, let's push Austin to April, end of April. It makes sense. Like you gotta you, like you shouldn't I, be in, taking, you shouldn't be in Vancouver. No, I'm taking all of Aus, uh, April. Off. Yeah, like I, uh, and that was planned. I, Brendan's right though. He he shouldn't be in Vancouver. But see how Brian didn't say nothing. He kind of went quiet. Vancouver is happening this weekend. I think. I think he's performing in Vancouver this weekend. He said Brian didn't address that. He went like, look, one more time. Brian, for once, Brendan's actually right here. You can't do the T Fat K Live at the Vulcan. You shouldn't be doing the fucking Vancouver gig this week either. To be fair, push. Austin to April, end of April. It makes sense. Like you gotta, you, like you shouldn't I, be. In, taking, you shouldn't be in Vancouver. No, I'm taking all of Aus, uh, April. Off. Yeah, like I, uh, Vancouver. and that was planned. I, I said I'm, I'm not going anywhere for April because I gotta be. We could do a live fire and a kid in LA. Yeah, but there's no Austin. Yeah, I'm doing. I'm doing. April. Wow. Now they're spitballing ideas of completely moving fire and a kid next time to fucking LA. So all those 33 people that bought tickets in Austin or surrounding areas, you simply do not matter. You don't matter because they're going to do it in LA next time because they're afraid of going to another state and having to perform in front of 10 people. Brea in LA, but that's Friday, that's Saturday. Yeah, that's all good to you back 20. home. They yeah. should can figure it out. He's still plugging his dates. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But to yeah. go like, uh, to f get on a plane and you're leaving, like no, you no, can't no, do it, but no, 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 no. You, you, know, you know, four times in your life you have kids. Yeah, you got to be there. You got to be there. And she's such a troop. She's such a badass. She's like, I got this. I'm like, no, no, no. You don't have this. I, I'm not. You're not driving anywhere. You're not yes, half moon Bardo. Long time no see, my friend. Hope you are well, my friend. Hope you are well. Hope you are well. Hope you're good. I'm going. Yeah, no, you don't want that, dude. No, no. So, uh, so okay. We're gonna reschedule Austin. Yeah, we're gonna probably reschedule oh, April, Austin. May. So May, June. We'll do yeah, May, June, maybe. <laughs> we're gonna reschedule Austin. April, May, June. So basically, there's no date. There's no date scheduled. Vulcan are pissed that you probably cancelled it last minute. They didn't give you any guarantees. We're going to reschedule it. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Like, there are no dates. Head fake, guys. So we'll do uh, live Finding a Kid and we'll figure out a location in LA for wow. April. You know what I do? Bring your baby to the live. Okay, so this is such a dickhead move. This is such a deplorable move because they're only doing this because they didn't sell enough tickets. If they would have sold more tickets, they would have done the show. As we've seen with this fucking post that I um, showed you guys on fucking Reddit, right? Where the guy basically said that they've only sold 33 tickets. 
as of yesterday, somebody has been tracking it on the site, has seen that they only sold 33 tickets. So most likely, they knew that also. That's why they're not performing, because they don't like performing in front of no shows, especially those type of level of, of, of clubs or that level of kind of performances or whatever gigs, whatever they may be. I said from the very beginning that I couldn't understand why they were pushing for the Red and Sea. I didn't really understand it because, like, surely the novelty of a T Fat K live show finishes the moment you do the T Fat K live show. You do one show and it's fine and overly. There's no need to put other ones out or make it a roving tour. It makes no sense. Especially considering, you know, the lady in question is a new artist, too. So, in this case, anyway, I just think this is deplorable and disgusting. I think you should always put on a show for people, even if it's five people watching you, 10, even one person. The fact that they're canceling it mostly because they couldn't, you know, whatever it's absolutely deplorable it really is and i also love the fact that in these situations whenever there's a you know scandal whatever it may be brian's always the one that has to fucking sacrifice himself for the sake of the show for the sake of uh taking the heat off his friend who's one of the most hated comedians in the world he always he gladly steps in front of the bullets gladly steps in front of it and tries to rework in ad lib it away to make it not sound like a diss when it obviously is especially when you see the features list but yeah in this type of case i just i don't know man i don't know i said it from the beginning that i didn't understand why they did the fire and the kid live anyway in fucking austin i didn't get it it was clearly as we've now seen it was clearly, and I think I mentioned it in my, one of my videos. I think I got a clip that one. I think I mentioned in one of my videos that I thought that they were only doing T5K live in Austin in a weird, perverse way to get closer to Austin. Like, hey, we're in Austin every week. Bring us on your show. Give us a gig at the Comedy Mothership. I think that's what he, they did it for. They, they kind of, it was a kind of, you know, an evil genius type of plan to try and get back into the good books of fucking Rogan. Obviously, it didn't work, but I think that was the case. But cancelling the show one week before because you sold 30 tickets but not really being honest enough to own up to it is one of the prime things that makes watching Brendan and Brian Callan content so much funny or so funny to fucking watch because they're so weird when it comes to this sort of shit. It's almost unbelievable how they do this. And also there's another clip here courtesy of Brian Callan where he basically tries to um, get in front of it and offer himself up as a human shooter as to why T-Fat K Live got cancelled. Again, very, very embarrassing, very cringe, but you know, that's Brian's brand, I guess. Starting emergency call to the SOS service provided by the manufacturer. To cancel, press the SOS or cancel button. Starting SOS call. I have to unfortunately cancel the You see what he's doing here? There's no Brian in the shot. He's by himself. He's saying he's the one cancelled, not Brian. Because Brian cancels he shows Brian is not even a stand up you know it's not funny. So you know what's funny about Brendan Shaw? Brendan allegedly quit comedy and he's still cancelling comedy gigs. <laughs> Can you imagine that? He quit and he still he still perform like uh, yeah, whatever. The uh twenty ninth March 29th at the Vulcan in Austin. We were going to do a live fighter and a kid. I cannot be there because my uh, beautiful wife uh, could give birth at any time. I cannot be on stage while she is giving birth to my child. But you're performing at Va in Vancouver this weekend. You're actually traveling to Canada to perform. Child, that would be very bad. And, uh, uh, you know, I have my priorities. Uh, love you guys. We will reschedule. Uh, my apologies, this is but embarrassing. Um, I got to take care this of business and we will... Uh, we As if will... he didn't know he had a wife before they booked the comedy gig anyway. As if he had no idea when she was going to be due. As if. As fucking if, bro. Be back and we will... Uh... Look at that smile. Look at that fake disingenuous smile. Okay. These guys are real pieces of shit to their fans, bro. The 33 fans that bought tickets, I feel bad for you guys. You hope you're going to get a refund anyway, but it's just a waste of time. We will be... Uh... We can't wait to perform for you guys live again. Lies. And this time I'll have four children, not three. So God bless. And we'll Jesus Christ, bro. Imagine still being happy to being pregnant in women at fucking 57 years of age. This guy's a fucking psychopath, bro. Absolute 
full on psychopath but hey god bless him and his family god bless him and his family god bless him and his blood clot family yeah big up gretchen baker none of you guys bought tickets so i'm piecing out hate your audience exactly but maybe you guys on stream chat can convince me i'm still i'm legitimately still shocked that they can't sell like a hundred tickets in austin between the both of them i'm not gonna lie i know it's not built as a stand-up show but maybe I'm being naive, but I'm still honestly surprised that they cannot sell 100 tickets between the both of them in Austin. It's pretty tragic. That must mean their careers are like on the fucking last, last rounds. If they can't even sell 100 tickets between two, I wouldn't say high profile comedians, but maybe two high profile individuals within that JRE's Bapperverse extended universe. Not sell, not be able to sell 10 tickets just based on their likeness alone is quite wild. But yeah. In another way, I'm also super surprised that they just couldn't figure this out. And why they didn't do it in LA first. Like, why would you go to Austin? Like, just a bread fucking Rogan. They should do it in LA because of the whole LA connection they have. Abbott friendly, Abbott, sorry, Abbott Kenny, you know, fight club shit. That would be a great way to kind of round it off. And then obviously check in on fucking throwing going at the end. But that'd be a great way to kind of like talk football or whatever. Sorry, to talk comedy, comedy to do a comedy show. That'd be a good way to do it. But yeah, I don't get these guys, man. They're fucking bizarre. They're fucking bizarre. And it's fucking deserved as well, to be fair. What can you do?